Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here again. You know, I try so very hard to do something that I know is possible, but it seems so impossible. And that is to see if I can do something, if I can say something that would cause an awakening in the human population. An awakening that would bring us to an understanding that the things that we desire of life, we can actually have. Things like peace, that we can actually live in peace. That we can actually live free. I mean, really free. And I think you know what freedom means. That we could be prosperous. I live in not in vain. That we could be joyous in our lives. That each of our dreams, and we got many dreams, but all of us got dreams as well. That those dreams should come true. This my friends I know it might it sounds weird perhaps but to me is is the way things were designed to be that your dreams could come true all of humankind's dreams should come true they should have their needs met their wants met and their desires met just by living on this earth in these bodies all of them black and white men and women straight and gay and any human being that lives on this earth should actually experience these qualities and be able to live without the pain and the sufferings that we should be able to do and achieve and acquire all of this without lying, without cheating, without stealing, without killing, and then by doing that, <clears throat> we would not incite those things that bring about hate, that brings about racism and bigotry, and put it all together and look at the, what it creates. It's like a cancer that destroys, and so we, we call it evil. And so that we have nothing to do with. It seems so simple to me, ladies and gentlemen, and you know why it seems simple to me? It seems simple to me because I know that there is a God. Now, it does not exist because the human population does not accept that as a fact. They believe in God, but they do not accept it as a fact that God exists. Now, the difference in this is that <clears throat> when people don't except the fact that God exists, that that authority exists, that power exists, then they bring it on themselves to replace that power or become that power. And even in becoming that power, you can only be utilize the limitations that you have and apparently not knowing your connection with God, we have great limitations. And so we can only do so much. We can only achieve such good standards. We're limited. And when we do the things we do, we have societies that, there are all those other things I just mentioned, they happen. But by me knowing there is a God, see, here we, the difference is by me knowing that there's a God and you don't, I can tell you that the earth belongs to God and all the resources in the earth belongs to God and that God made all of the resources to be embedded on this earth for the times that human beings live on this earth so whenever they need them they can utilize as, them as we're doing today now here's the thing God made that he made it possible excuse me for saying he God is power made it so that we as human beings could do just what we're doing. And the thing that makes it so wonderful and so beautiful is because each of us working 
in careers that produce these things. That's the secret. This is the secret, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the secret about all the stuff I've been mentioning about the peace and the heavenly things on earth. Here's the secret. God designed it in such a way that human beings coming on this earth would participate in creating heaven. And the role that they would play was designed that it would give them great joy in doing it. But it has to be the the the, the career the, that was given, that was designed for them. And uh, in doing that, that's your greatest joy. And your greatest joy is what makes life worth living. And all the stuff that I was talking about, like food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, and all those goodies, that's just cream on the top. Nobody even thinking about that. Cream on the top. The joy is in your career, your job. That's the secret that God designed. That's the way God designed it to be. But man came along and said, no, nah, that doesn't belong to everybody. That's socialism. This belongs to me. This belongs to Standard Oil. This belongs to OPEC. This belongs to so and so and so on and so forth. And we designed it so we can make profit out of it. Look, God gave the human race the computers, the television, the telephone, the electric light. God gave that to us free. But the system says, oh, no, because the system didn't know what God was doing. The system was doing its thing. Capitalism in some places. And this is what has the result of it. We got people who don't have this, don't have that. People want all kinds of stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to stop there. I just wanted to give you a little bit of what it is truly like knowing God in comparison to believing in God. Until next time, this is Eddie Marcus saying, Goodbye.